What's up everybody? This is Zanny Cakes with another Path of Diablo video and today we are going to be talking about loot filters. I've been getting a lot of questions asking me about which loot filters I prefer, what ones are the best to use. I've had some people asking how you actually install them so I figured I'd just make a video that shows you everything you need to know about loot filters other than actually coding them yourself. I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people that do create these loot filters. I genuinely appreciate all of the effort and time that you put into keeping them updated and making sure that we get to see all of our fat loots. I do not consider any one loot filter to be better than all of the rest. Each one has its own separate nuances that make it better for different in-game goals. And in this video, I will simply just go over each one, show you what they look like, and give you an idea of what they are best used for. If you find the video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite loot filter is. And with that, we'll get into it. So let's start off with what is a loot filter, what does it do, and how do I get one? As the name implies, a loot filter is simply that. It filters the loot that drops in-game. The community made loot filters do a very good job of not showing you things that never get picked up, such as smaller piles of gold, exploding potions, cracked gear, and stuff like that. They all do a very good job of showing you the desirable rune word bases, desirable blue items and yellow items, as well as set and unique items. A lot of them also call out extra attention to things like higher runes, rare or unique jewelry and charms. To install one of these community made loot filters, the first thing you need to do is go to the Path of Diablo wiki. You can either Google Path of Diablo wiki or take the link in the description below to get there. Once you are on the main page, go to the loot filter section and click on list of loot filters. This will bring you to a section that has the download links for each of the loot filters. You can see who made them. There's some extra info. You can click the for more info options to see screenshots and details about what the loot filter is all about. You'll see the filter link and then the patch that it is most recently updated for. Once you decide on which loot filter you want to use, you simply copy the loot filter link and then open up the Path of Diablo launcher. On the right hand side of the Path of Diablo launcher, you will see a little box that says Loot Filter Downloader. You paste the link into the URL box. You can check the box Auto Update, which will auto update your loot filter anytime the author actually makes changes to it. And then you click Download. It will give you a little box saying that you have to enable them in game. And to do this, you launch Path of Diablo and make a game. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you will see a little thing that says Settings. Use Control left click on the word that says Settings to open them up. Go over to the tab that says Loot Filter and the very bottom box says Custom Loot Filter. Make sure that box is checked. And then you can right click on the word Settings at the top of that little screen to close out those settings. You should get a green in-game message saying that the loot filter has been loaded. Now that we have a loot filter installed and good to go, let's take a look at the differences between them. These are not in any particular order. However, I did group them into categories of all around, crafting, lightweight, or endgame focus. My first one on the list in the all around category would be Rented's Loot Filter. With this loot filter, runes and jewelry are very visible. Keys are visible. It shows sockets on uniques. Does a good job of pointing out the higher end uniques. And overall is a very good loot filter to use for general purposes or anybody that is rather new to the game. Next up we have Karma's Loot Filter. Karma's does a very good job of bringing visibility to high runes and jewelry. It points out the good unique items. It points out the good blue items. Has good visibility on keys and charms. Good visibility on gems. It has an extremely unique potions icon that I really like. And overall it is good for everyone and very colorful. 
The last loot filter that I put in the all around section would be Kitten's loot filter. It has extremely good visibility on runes and jewelry. It has added visibility for the end game sought after uniques. It has good visibility on keys, has some good crafting information, and overall is a very good all around loot filter that will do very well regardless of what content you're running and what kind of gear you're looking for. Moving on to the lightweight category, first up we have Chris Zard's loot filter. Please don't hate me if I mispronounce that. This filter has excellent high rune visibility. It has very good jewelry visibility, very good gem visibility. It points out the better uniques in the game, has good crafting info, points out the good skiller charms, and overall is a very good, very lag free loot filter to use. This filter also makes it into my personal list of my top three favorite loot filters. The other loot filter that I have in the lightweight category would be Spam's loot filter. It is a very simple and lightweight loot filter that has the very classic Diablo loot feel to it. It shows item levels on just about everything, has excellent visibility on gems, and overall is very good for anybody. However, it is best suited for people that like minimal screen clutter. The first filter on my list for people that like to craft would be Animal's Loot Filter. It has very good rune visibility, has a lot of crafting info. It points out the good uniques, points out the good blue items, has added visibility on jewelry. It's overall very good for anyone and extremely good for people that like to craft or shop. I'm an extremely big fan of crafting, so both of the loot filters that I have in the crafting section would be also in my top three. And the other loot filter that I put in the crafting section would be Filter Gale. The Filter Gale loot filter does an excellent job of making runes very visible. It draws added attention to good skill charms, has good visibility on jewelry, has good crafting info, it points out the good uniques, and overall is a very good loot filter for anybody to use. This brings us to the end game loot filter category, and the first one on this list is Ixoth's. It has very good rune visibility. It shows how many sockets are on items, regardless of whether or not they have sockets in them. It gives added visibility to charms, added visibility to jewelry, but it is much more strict than the other loot filters. For example, it does not show flawless gems at all. And I would recommend this loot filter for anybody that is looking for end game GG items for the most part, or want to maximize clear speed in game without hindering themselves with looting the less valuable items. And the final loot filter that I'm going to go over is the strict gale loot filter. This filter only shows high runes, orbs of corruption, unidentified jewelry, and the good uniques. I would not recommend this for anyone unless you are Oprah rich and just want the absolute tip top items to show up. I hope this video helps you find the best loot filter for you as they're almost all very good options. And as always, good luck, have fun, and I hope to see you out there.